You want to fix your online reputation, it starts with a plan. You can't just jump in and start publishing things to create a suppression strategy or to boost your online reputation. You need to start with a tight, solid communications method. And I'm going to show you how and link you to a free template that you can use, a professional document that will keep you on track to show the world all the positive parts about you. Okay, let's jump right into it. You wanna fix your online reputation. This is our company template. I'm giving it to you so you can repair your own online reputation and you can stay organized as you do it. We're working around the clock to build out these resources. I'm super excited about it. I'm a little bit too caffeinated, but we're gonna breeze through this document. If you have questions, just email me, I'm happy to help. So this is for personal brands, not for businesses. We'll be releasing a business one later on, but start with your name, fill out the top of this document. This is your master communications plan for online reputation management. What you wanna do is assume a date range. How long is it gonna to take to boost your online reputation? I recommend budgeting around six months to a year to see a real good change. You wanna you want to let those search results really marinate. You wanna let those new articles, that new content. I use marination because I like food and I'm also good at SEO. So when you post a new article, you wanna really let it marinate like a nice steak. Always think about that. Okay. Table of contents, we're gonna be going into a strategy overview of your strategic communications plan for your online reputation. Talking about communications platform, your messaging, reputation campaigns, and SEO tactical executions. This document gets into the granular breakdown of how you're gonna be crafting your SEO strategy and picking and choosing your own tactics. We've also included example tactics for you. Uh, and then we want you to track results. So we're gonna be going over all that and so much more. My dog is walking around. Section one, okay, your communications objective and fixing your online reputation, man, and fixing your online reputation and doing online reputation management. What's the goal? Is it just a bury press? Then you would just write, you know, whatever you wanted, just post garbage, the end. You bury it under all this random, irrelevant stuff just putting your name in as a keyword. We don't want that. We actually, we want to show the audience something because if we're going to be spending six months to a year building out all this information, why would we just, you know, throw anything up there? It's a waste of time. We want to use that time to create a message, you know, a, a strong, airtight communications goal. So think broad here. What, what are your goals? Maybe it's to get hired. Maybe it's to show people you're a leader in your field. Maybe it's to increase sales. Maybe it's to... It could be anything. It could be your personal life. Maybe to communicate to your next date that you are somebody who's responsible and on top of their life. It could be anything. And who are your target audiences? That's going to stem out of your communications objectives. So human resources. Maybe you're getting turned down for jobs and you know why, because you have a terrible, terrible article on the first page of Google. Maybe, you know, audiences that are also of interest can go here. You know, other influencers or decision makers company who are going to be doing background research on you? Or are you looking for investors? Are you raising, you know, Series C uh, round of financing for, for your large corporation where people look up the CEO, you're the CEO and there's bad things out there. So, so this is a great way to put your team to work for you in order to boost your reputation. Now, your personal targets can also be included as well. So did your last day Google you? I mentioned that up here as well. Uh, but again, it's not just about your professional life. It's about your personal life too. And even though we don't admit it, our, per our personal and our professional lives are so much intertwined that we can't deny it. So what's your positioning statement? You need to clearly articulate the main benefits you offer to society in the professional world and what makes you unique. You want that unique. You want to show you're significant and you also want to you want to contribute. So you want to talk about the benefits you offer and you don't want to clearly state them. I am the best because you know, you, you want to weave it into a narrative and I'm going to, I'm going to get into how we do that. Desired action. This is a template. It's editable. Download link in the description down below, download this and manage your online presence. Now remember these communications, messages should drive desired actions. Perhaps someone's going to hire you. Maybe they're going to contact you. Maybe you want them to subscribe to you, to your email list for your business, you know, so you can do business yourself. Maybe you want them to add you on LinkedIn or to engage with you. These are very general, but these desired actions should be hire you 
people can interview with you. Things are going to generate you profit. Things are going to generate you social capital and wealth and authority in your industry are, are all desired actions. So fill in what they are. What are they for you? Communications, messages, channels, target audience and message frequency. So an online reputation oftentimes will write thousand word articles, publish them. Um, and these are our target audiences down here. For, for me, it may be people who need their online reputations fixed. It may be, you know, uh, young, young students who, who I want to buy my courses. It, it can be anything. A thousand word article with our target audiences. So this is one... This is one, not only a channel, the channel is our website, uh, and the type of message is the article. And frequency should also go here. So like how often, maybe like once, once a week, you know, we're gonna publish these articles once a week. Oh, I actually already have it here. Perfect, okay, once a week. A thousand words is a lot, right? So we're looking at this over time. Email marketing, email lists are fantastic because these are groups of people who trust you, support you, Anything ever happens to you professionally, you go back to your email list, you sell them something. I mean, obviously something of value. You help them, they help you, they give you some buffer time, uh, you know, to get your life together again. So email lists are helpful. Facebook, big social network, very much pay to play, but I would use it. It ranks high in search. Put your name in there, put your brand name. Twitter, professional, older audience. People consume the news there. I wouldn't leave it out. YouTube, video marketing, I would say is the most powerful. I'd say, you know, hang over around 60%, it was around 60% of consumers preferred to watch video content over written content. Now, I like a hybrid. If I really want something detailed, I don't want to watch a drone out video. Um, but again, that's why we write blog posts about all of our things. Pinterest can be helpful. Change.org, you can start a petition if you're a nonprofit. Um, I work with uh, you know, founders of nonprofits to boost their reputations in the past. Um, and the messaging. So what message ideas do you want to post? These are your content pillars. So you might want to scroll back up a little bit and say, okay, what are my target audiences? What are my actions? But, but most of all, what are my communications objectives and my messages? So your message could be like, um, I am the best consultant in all of Mississippi. So it could be like Mississippi consulting can be your first topic. And from that, you can make, you know, seven video and blog ideas. So Mississippi consultant, uh, advice for other, you know, financial advice for people living in Mississippi who are small businesses. Uh, the second one could be uh, how to register a small business, Mississippi. Uh, third one, how to structure your corporation, Mississippi. And then you would have topic two, topic three, and you would build video ideas so that they're already here and you can repurpose them as you go. In fact, if you sit down with a coffee in 30 minutes, you can create all those topics right now. Okay. Daily, weekly messaging topics for social media. You want to take all these topics and you want to clip little sound bites out of them. So if the first video is how to structure your business in Mississippi, you may have this amazing quote. I want you to pull it. So if you say inside of that video how to structure your business, structuring your business is difficult. But if you stay focused and you take the time to build the foundation in the beginning, you're gonna be set up for success. If you say something cool like that, I made it up two seconds ago, but if you say something a little bit more profound than that, clip it, put it on Twitter, put it on Instagram, put it on LinkedIn. Now all those networks are ranking higher, you're getting engagement, you're building an audience that trusts you, maybe you're sending them back to your email list. So this communications plan directs everything you're gonna be doing in your future to boost your reputation. So you wanna grab those sound bites and you wanna put them at a certain certain frequency on social media. I would go for every day if you're ambitious. And when we work with you, we do it every day. Um, but I definitely recommend you give that a shot. Um, breakdown. So how much of what you're doing is going to be success stories, community posts, you know, talking about pictures of you hanging out with people locally, talking to your local politicians, professional insights. I provide this video as a professional insight for me. This is just a random breakdown. Break it down yourself and, and write down more examples. Uh, key dates. Key dates are important. So timing your messages. In, in December, you might want to talk about Christmas. And if you're a nonprofit or you're the, the founder of a nonprofit, you could be doing a Christmas drive. You, you want to put that on there as well. Now, the next thing I recommend you do is starting reputation campaigns. So having specific campaigns that are designed to launch your reputation. 
You have the day in, day out of digital marketing, but why not select a powerful photo, a powerful video, and, and talk about a message and then spread that on social media? So one thing I might do is like, I do this uh, twice a year, thrice a year now, webinar where I just walk through communications plans with people and help them build it. And uh, what I really wanted to do was host one of these workshops, create a video of it, and push it far and wide on social. Now, there are other things that would be a little bit more interesting to do, but think about that. What can you do? Like, are you raising money for a nonprofit? Donate to my campaign. I'll give you a shout out on my next thank you video. Go on every platform. You know, you don't just donate to a nonprofit. You can create a challenge where you match donations of other people and then donate to a nonprofit and spread it on all your social channels. And if it's something catchy, something cool, like you want everybody on social to, you know, play a musical instrument or something like that. You'll get people setting in hashtags, playing the instrument. You get people gathered around your cause and they help boost your reputation, but you also contribute to society. So it's, it's really fantastic if you want to brainstorm ideas and strategies that fit with your business. I'm happy to have a chat. So it's important to use consistent messaging, but I break it down this way. You know, a lot of my clients, I say, hey, write a book, publish it on Amazon, publish it on Kindle, and do a book launch. And that's a huge thing. They get free book giveaways, they get free interviews, and it really helps. I was fast, I know, but these are our SEO tactical execution. So, in improving your search results, you need to rank things on Google. Matter of fact, right? This is tactical. The previous things I showed you were high end. This is tactical. Now, I make YouTube videos with my name in it. They rank on Google. January 1st, how many videos did I make? Maybe I made two. I wrote a Medium article with my name in it. Maybe I made one. Maybe I didn't even write a blog post, you know, on January. No. So I will, I will just put a zero beside it. So what, what I want you to do is over the course of you know, the whole month, how many times did you complete these actions? And then at the end of the year, you can actually, you know, your annual total is maybe like I did 50 medium blogs. I did um, 300 YouTube videos. I wrote a blog post, you know, 80 blog posts, insane numbers. But you would go back and then you would see how search engine result pages changed. And then you would look at your actions and see, oh, two medium blogs are, are ranking. But actually, because we're not just writing spam, I use this communications guide that Nader created, and I, I, I've used it to um, bring in business as well. So I boost my reputation, I brought in business using this. So you want this to work together. You want it to be a synergistic plan to not only boost your online reputation, but also to help you meet your goals and objectives in your business. So download the template. It is on the website. It is hosted for free. I'm not gonna capture email, just download it fill it out and do me a favor. Let me know how it went. I'd love to have a chat with you. Book a call with me. So that was your template for building an online reputation management communications plan. Download the template, start filling it out. And if you need the tactical information about how to, you know, boost your SEO to suppress negative links, how to delete negative links, all those resources are on the channel. If you want to see them in a concise and organized way, head on over to the website, navigate to the blog, because we are going to be releasing content all the time right there. Fill out the form, ask me questions. I'm happy to get in touch, but I'm looking for you to reach out to me. I want you to ask me the questions and, and let me know how I can help you the most. And that's going to also help our team create the resources to help you boost your online reputation. Thank you for watching and take care.